At the end of the video, you will be familiar with Pivotal and Shio's method. You will know other solving methods for determinants specifically for other order determinants. And you will know a method of evaluating an n times n determinant in terms of n minus 1 times n minus 1 determinants. Today, we will gonna solve matrix by pivotal method. Let's start! In getting the determinant of a matrix of order n, the pivotal element method center its solution on finding a pivot element, which is 1, and creating an n minus 1 determinant. If the given determinant of order n has a element unity 1, use this as a pivotal element. If no unity element is present, you can choose any of the other number in the matrix as a convenient element, but make sure you make that number equal to 1 by factoring out or by any other solutions. Upon choosing the pivotal element, we need to cross out the row and column where it is included. Thus, from a 4x4, it will be a 3x3 matrix. The solution for the pivotal would be determinant A is equals to negative 1 raised to the sum of the position of the pivotal element which is 2 plus 2. Then, multiply by the n minus 1 determinant we have been come up with. We are going to subtract the remaining number from the product of the elements in the pivotal rows and columns that meet the number or that intersect the numbers. Upon writing the numbers, we need to carefully check the numbers if they are much in the previous matrix. We should not be confused on writing the numbers. Again, double checking is a must. So we will get 3 minus 4 multiplied by 2, 2 minus 5 multiplied by 2, 7 minus 3 multiplied by 2, 7 minus 4 multiplied by 2, 4 minus 5 multiplied by 2, 6 minus 3 multiplied by 2, 8 minus 4 multiplied by 3, 2 minus 5 multiplied by 3 and 4 minus 3 multiplied by 3. So we need to carefully solve the 3 by 3 matrix for us to get to the right path and the right answer. We need to use calculator as much as possible so that we will get the right answer. As we simplify it, we will get negative 5, negative 8, 1, negative 1, negative 6, a 0, negative 4, negative 13, and negative 5. So we get a 3x3 three three matrix. We will use again the pivotal method to get the determinant. We will use again the element 1. Again, we will choose the pivotal element 1. And we will just repeat the process. So we will again subtract the remaining number from the product of the elements in the pivotal rows and columns that meet the number or that intersects the number. So again, we need to double check the numbers. So 
So we've got negative 1 minus negative 5 multiplied by 0, negative 6 minus negative 8 multiplied by 0, negative 4 minus negative 5 multiplied by negative 5, negative 13 minus negative 8 multiplied by negative 5. As we simplify it, we will get negative 1, negative 29, negative 6, and negative 53. For us to get the determinant, we need to multiply A11 by A22, then subtract to A12 by A21. And the determinant of this matrix is negative 121. Again, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. So for today, we are going to discuss the pivotal element method using a 3 by 3 matrix. Always remember that the pivot point of a matrix should be an element that is unity or equal to 1. Here is an example of a 3 by 3 matrix. Here we have a pivot point in the 3 by 3 matrix which is located in the middle. Highlight the pivot point that is located between the second row and the second column of the matrix. Again, always remember that the unity or the pivot point of a matrix should be equal to 1. Next is to find the determinant of matrix A using the pivotal element method. First is to find the common solution which is negative 1 and its location which is the second row and second column. That's why negative 1 is raised to 2 plus 2 indicating the position of the pivot point which is again second row, second column. After finding the common solution, we now multiply and write the remaining element after marking the path and location of the pivot point. So the remaining elements are 2, 3, 3, and 5. We will now subtract the remaining numbers with the product of its nearest element. So for 2, we have the nearest element in the row which is 5 and the nearest element in the column which is negative 4. So for 3, we have the number 6 and negative 4. Same goes with the remaining element number of 3. We have 5 and 2. And for 5, we have the nearest number in row which is 6 and the nearest number in column which is 2. Next is to add the path of the pivotal point which is 2 plus 2 is equals to 4. Then we find the product of the nearest element so we multiply 5 by negative 4 that would be negative 20. Three minus the product of 6 and negative 4 which is negative 24.
Next, we have 3 minus the product of 5 and 2, which is 10. And lastly, 5 minus the product of 6 and 2, which is 12. Now to simplify, 1 raised to negative 4, that would be positive 1. Next is we will find the determinant of the remaining element. So 2 minus negative 20, that would be positive 22. 3 minus negative 24, that would be positive 27. 3 minus 10, that would be negative 7. And lastly, 5 minus 12 is equals to negative 7. So now we have to cross multiply the elements and subtract their products. So that would be 22 multiplied by negative 7 minus 27 multiplied by negative 7. So the final answer in finding the determinant of the 3x3 three three matrix using pivotal element method is 35. And now let's start solving a matrix 4x4 four by, four by Chiyo's method. Let's start. Chiyu's method is also one of the other method used to evaluate the determinant of A, n times n order matrix wherein A11 or the first element should not be equal to 0. Since the first element is 1, we can now proceed to the solution. If the element is 0, we can interchange the columns with a preceding negative sign. The solution for Chiyu's method is 1 divided by the first element which is 1, raised to the matrix, and minus 2, which is constant. Then we will multiply this by the element in the matrix. Again, while writing the number, we need to carefully check if the numbers that we are putting is the same on the matrix. As you can see, we have a pattern. The first column all have the same first row, same as the next column, and to the next column. After we group the matrix, we will have to cross multiply and subtract the first product to the second product. As a result, we will get 6, negative 1, 6, 2, 0, 2, 5, negative 2, and 6. So we will use again the Chiyo's method. And as a solution, we will use the first element which is 6. So we have 1 divided by 6 raised to 3 which is the matrix and minus 2 which is a constant then we will multiply this by the element in the matrix So again, after we group the matrix, we will cross multiply and subtract the first product to the second product. So and uh, as a result, we will get 2, 
zero, negative seven, and six. For us to get the determinant, we need to multiply a11 by a22, then subtract to a12 by a21. And we will get 12, and we will divide it by 6. Thank you for watching. Again, I hope you learned something. Next is we will understand the Chios method to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. Note that the formula for Chios method is equals to 1 over a raised to n minus 2. Note that a is equals to the first element of the matrix and n is equals to the number of matrix which is 3 by 3. So first is we substitute the formula so that will be 1 over 2 which is the first element raised to 3 which is the number of matrix minus 2. Next is we simplify the 3 by 3 matrix by making 4 2 by 2 matrix. So for the first two matrices, we will use the first row and the second row of the given 3 by 3 matrix. So the first one would be 2, 3, 4, and 2. So for the second one, we will have 2, 1, 4, and 3. For the remaining two matrices, we will use the first row and the last row of the given 3x3 three three matrix. So the third one would be 2, 3, and 1, and 5. The last 2x2 two two matrix would be 2, 1, and 1, and 4. Next is we simplify the formula so that would be 1 over 2, 3 minus 2 is equals to 1 so that would be 2 raised to 1 is equals to 2. Next is we have to cross multiply the 2 by 2 matrix and subtract their products. So it would be 2 times 2 is equals to 4 minus 4 times 3 is equals to 12. 2 times 5 is equals to 10 minus 3 times 1 is equals to 3. 2 times 3 is equals to 6 minus 4 times 1 is equals to 4 and then lastly 4 times 2 is equals to 8 minus 1 times 1 is equals to 1 next is we have to simplify by subtracting the products so that would be 4 minus 12 is equals to negative 8, 10 minus 3 is equals to 7, 6 minus 4 is equals to 2, and 8 minus 1 is equals to 7. Next is we have to cross multiply again the elements and subtract their products. So that would be negative 8 multiplied by 7 is equals to negative 56, minus 7 multiplied by 2 is equals to 14. Multiplied by the given formula which is 1 half. So that would be equal to negative 70 multiplied by 1 half. So the final answer for the Chios method using a 3 by 3 matrix is equals to negative 35.